Secretary Clinton, the question was about where was ISIS underestimated? And I'll, I'll just add, the president referred to ISIS as the JVU in a speech to the Council on Foreign Relations in June of 2014 said, I could not have predicted the extent to which ISIS could be effective in seizing cities in Iraq. So you've got prescriptions for the future, but how, how do we know if those prescriptions are any good if you missed it in the past? Well, John, look, I think that what happened when we abided by the agreement that George W. Bush uh, made with the Iraqis to leave uh, by 2011 is that an Iraqi army was left that had been trained and that was prepared to defend Iraq. Unfortunately, Nouri al-Maliki, the prime minister, set about decimating it. And then, with the revolution against Assad, and I did early on say we needed to try to find a way to train and equip moderates very early so that we would have a better idea of how to deal with Assad, because I thought there would be uh, extremist groups filling the vacuum. So yes, this has developed. I think that there are many other reasons why it has, in addition uh, to what happened in the region, but I don't think that the United States uh, has the bulk of the responsibility. I really put that on Assad and on the Iraqis and on the region itself. Senator Sanders. I think she said something like, the bulk of the responsibility is not ours. Well, in fact, I would argue that the disastrous invasion of Iraq, something that I strongly oppose, has unraveled the region completely and led to the rise of al-Qaeda uh, and to uh, ISIS. Quickly, just uh, let me ask you a follow-up on that, Senator Sanders. When you say the disastrous vote on Iraq, uh, let's just be clear about what you're saying. You're saying Secretary Clinton, who was then Senator Clinton, voted for the Iraq war. And are you making a direct link between her vote for that war and what's happening now for ISIS, just so everybody well, can I don't be clear think at home? Any, I don't think any sensible person would disagree that the invasion of Iraq led to the massive level of instability we are seeing right now. I think right. that was one of the worst foreign policy blunders in the modern history of the United States. I have said the invasion of Iraq was a mistake, but I think if we're ever going to really tackle the problems posed by jihadi extreme terrorism, we need to understand it and realize that it has uh, antecedents to what happened in Iraq, and we have to continue to be vigilant about it. Senator Sanders, let me just follow this line of thinking. You've criticized then-Senator Clinton's vote. Do you have anything to criticize in the way she performed as Secretary of State? I think we have a disagreement. Uh, and uh, the disagreement is that not only did I vote against the war in Iraq, if you look at history, John, you will find that regime change, whether it was in the early 50s in Iran, whether it was toppling Salvador Allende in Chile, uh, whether it is overthrowing the government of Guatemala way back when, these invasions, these, in, these toppling of governments, regime changes have unintended consequences. I would say that on this issue, I'm a little bit more conservative than the secretary. All right. All right so uh, and that I am not a great fan of regime change. Senator